Hello, my friends, and welcome back to yet another T. Martin Airlines flight. I hope you brought your tinfoil hat and make sure to do some stretching because you're going to get probed. We're going to Area 51. Situated just 80 miles north-northwest of Las Vegas is one of the most classified United States Air Force bases, and uh, we are going to be unlocking the secrets today. So let's see what we can do. We are going to be taking off from McCarran International Airport, set that as our departure point, and we don't need an arrival airport where we're going. It's a good looking bird we got there. Hopefully we don't, uh, don't get her shot down. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, I'm thinking, let's, let's pull up our map here first. Go ahead and chart out our, our plan here. So I'm thinking that we, I mean, we're gonna take off here, obviously. The strip should be very close. This road right here is going to be the strip. We should be able to see, yeah, we can see some of the, the hotels and casinos over there. So we're going to come out. We're going to keep it low and slow. We're going to go along the strip, check out everything there is to see, all the sights and sounds of Vegas. And then, like I said, it's it's about 80 miles north-northwest. It's actually in between two mountains. It might be up over here. Obviously, it's not going to be marked on the map because this is, you know, classified information. Civilians should not be going there. Uh, but we are going to be going there. So we're going to check that out. And then I think up north of it somewhere, we're going to have to see what it looks like once we're up in the air. We're going to go check out Rachel, Nevada first, which is the closest city to it. It's a really interesting city. It's a population of like 54 people. So we're going to go up there and then we're going to cut back around. We're going to check out Area 51 and uh, see if we can uncover some long classified U.S. military secrets and, uh, you know, communication with extraterrestrials so it's gonna be a good time we'll see what we can do let's uh let's go ahead and put these uh these parking brakes up we're gonna go ahead and uh increase our throttle here don't want to do too much because we don't want to get going too fast and uh away we go man this should uh should be a good time i'm looking forward to it time to uncover some long hidden u.s secrets worldwide secrets really it's it's been a disservice that they haven't been telling us about this so I'm trying to take off with as little speed as possible. Here we go. Let's just go super, super slow. I want to keep it about like 90 knots or so, something like that. We might need a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and go up with our landing gear and our, uh, our flaps. And we're going to bank right and head straight down Las Vegas Boulevard. I'm sorry, ATC. I'm not going to be in contact with you. If I told you where we were going, we would have been grounded. You would not have let us take off. Don't sink. Don't, sink. Don't sink, says the aircraft. I feel like that's a bad thing. It's been telling me the last couple of episodes that it... We haven't crashed yet, so we're, we're good for now, but we got to be careful. Can I shut you off? Is there a way I could shut you off? Don't don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. I got it. We've got the Luxor off there to the left. One of the, the only man-made things you can see from space. The lights up on top of it. MGM Grand on the right. Circus Circus right there. we got the New York, New York. What else do we have? Can we slow down a bit? Dude, I feel like we're flying through here. I'm gonna try to slow this thing on down. Uh, what else do we have coming up? What else do I recognize? I've spent a little bit of time in Vegas. Vegas can be fun. We've got the Paris over here. Ooh, it's getting a little bit, a little bit choppy. We have the Cosmo back there, Caesar's Palace, the Bellagio, Mirage coming up. On our right, we should have the Wynn and the Encore coming up. Yep, those two big, beautiful buildings. Treasure Island, the Palazzo. Woo. Your boy could uh, could use a few more frames, if you know what I mean. Just a lot of buildings and stuff. I apologize for that. Like I've told you guys, I do have a new computer coming in soon. So it should get a lot more buttery smooth. And we shouldn't have to worry about this anymore. Uh, so there we go. All right. Just kind of a quick little, a quick little run through Vegas there. Pretty exciting. If you guys have ever been to Vegas, let me know what you did. Did you have a good time? Where'd you stay? That sort of thing. And uh, for now, we are going to head 80 miles to the northwest. That's just so crazy, man. A giant, sparkling city in the middle of the desert. Like somebody just decided to put a giant city where there shouldn't be a city. It's so hot out here. It's the middle of nowhere. It gets to be like, I think the other day in Death Valley, which isn't quite where, where Vegas is, but still kind of the same area of the world. It was recently up to 130 degrees in the middle of the day. That just doesn't, that just doesn't seem right. But somebody decided to build a bunch of casinos and it's one of the, the richest places on earth. If you ever want interesting facts and stuff, look up like 
some of the, the costs of how much it costs to run the lights, how much these casinos spend on their electricity bills. The Luxor, it has like a, a bunch of bulbs on top that shoot up into the sky. It's like you can see it from hundreds of miles away. You can see it from space sometimes. I do know that Area 51 is in between two major mountains and then Rachel, Nevada is up north of it. So we're gonna, we're gonna head this way here. We're gonna head past this mountain and see if we can find it. It's obviously not gonna be easy. It's gonna be finding a needle in the haystack. We're finding a speck of dust out in the middle of the desert, but we're gonna try our best. There's just nothing out here, dude. There's like the edge of civilization and then just nothingness. Just dirt, dust, some cacti, maybe some tumbleweeds. And that's it. The problem is there's lots of, of mountains out here all over the place. So, you know, every, every little one could be the one that we're looking for. Like I said, we're kind of searching for a needle in a haystack here, but I, I think we might be, we might be on the right heading. We're just, we're going north, northwest out of Vegas and we're, we're hoping we just happen to, to make our way across it. I actually really wonder what would happen if, if, you tried to fly there, like in real life. I bet they would send up some F-18s or something, give you some warnings, and if you didn't adhere to it. This is actually low-key really hard to find. I'm trying to find out what this INS airport is, because that would be a good uh, that would be a good a good marker for us. That's the Creech Air Force Base right here. So Area 51 is is I feel like a legitimate crazy person right now. We aren't about to fly into a mountain, are we? Uh, it's, it's yeah, get, a, get a little close. We might want to gain a little bit of altitude here. But yeah, I, I legitimately feel like, like you know, a, a psycho right now. It is pretty much directly north, a little bit west of Creech. So it's going to be up here somewhere. Let's go ahead and gas it a bit. Dude, this thing's farther out than I thought it was going to be. So uh, I think I think we're going to run by Creech. We're just going to do a little flyover, check it out. Could be interesting to see an Air Force base. And then from there, we'll bank a right and we'll go up. Interesting how they have multiple Air Force bases out here, but only one of them is mega top secret classified. So here's the deal. Similar to Everest yesterday, I've got some facts for you guys. I've got some interesting little tidbits of information. I did some research before this episode. No, I did not have this memorized. No, I am not one of those kooks, but I ain't saying that this stuff couldn't potentially be real because didn't the government just announce that they officially had come across UFOs and stuff like that earlier this year? Everybody was, was talking about the virus and everything else. Nobody really paid attention to that, but they confirmed that they did. They have recovered unidentified objects and space objects and stuff like that. So who really knows what's going on? But uh, the official name of Area 51, Area 51 is like a, a folklore term. It's not the actual name. The official name is called Homey Airport or Groom Lake. And it's, it's basically right next to a giant salt flat. And that's, that's the name of the, this old lake, was Groom Lake. So that's, that's what they call it. You may have heard Groom Lake before. I feel like I've heard that a lot. Uh, it's a highly classified United States Air Force base that nobody really knows what's going on there. Like, they haven't ever officially said exactly what happens. People assume it's highly classified, like new weaponry, new types of missiles, new types of aircraft, that kind of thing. We do know some of the aircraft that have come out of there in the past but nobody knows the actual exact specifications and stuff. In fact, the place was built in 1955 and it wasn't officially acknowledged by the government until 2013. They pretended like it didn't exist up until just a few years ago. So it makes you kind of scratch your head a little bit. I mean, of course our military is gonna have secrets, but it's just weird. You know, there's, there's a lot of weird stuff that surrounds it. Along with that secrecy comes obviously a lot of security. I mean, there are roads that lead to it. There's a highway that kind of goes by it and then there are dirt roads you can take that lead up to it. Once you get to a certain point, it basically says, if you go farther than this, we're gonna shoot you. If you get even remotely close to that, camo dudes will show up. So these camo dudes are guys in total camo and white pickup trucks that will sit there on the hillsides following you and watching you. There's footage on YouTube of these guys. It, it gets pretty crazy. Is this the airport right here? What is that? That kind of looks like an airport, but I'm not, sh I'm not sure what that is. That can't be the airport because it's, it's not actually where it is on our map. Interesting. Huh. Maybe some alien technology down there? Who knows? 
Definitely some weird Y-shaped buildings and stuff. I don't know if I trust it. But yeah, Deadly Force camo dudes, they've got all kinds of mega sophisticated security with like, you know, motion detection systems and of course security cameras and stuff like that. So you are absolutely not getting in there. It is totally walled off and it's actually a really massive area. So uh, again, Nobody's ever really seen it. Nobody ever really knows what they do. Even the employees, man. So a lot of employees live on base, but there are also ones that get flown in. There are these weird like red striped airlines that don't have any sort of other documentation on them. They don't have tail numbers or anything like that. They're these secret airlines that will go land in Las Vegas, pick up workers that live in Las Vegas and then fly them out to the base. So like, they aren't allowed to fly on civilian aircraft. Civilian aircraft can't go there. There's all sorts of secret ways to get in. There's a lot of cars on base, so I guess some people must drive to work, but it's just, it's all very weird. Like you either live at work or you get flown in on secret red striped Janet Airlines planes is what they're known as. And actually we kind of have a red stripe on our side here. So maybe they're going to think that, that we're a part of the crew. Here comes the, uh, the Indian Springs AF Ox Air Force Base here. Just a normal Air Force Base, nothing to be worried about. But from here, we're gonna wanna take a look at our compass and we're gonna wanna head due north. So we're gonna have Area 51 and then Rachel, the town of Rachel is gonna be on the back side of that. Like I said, I kinda wanna go to Rachel first and see if they have anything there. But um, we'll see if we can see Area 51 first and get a visual confirmation. So yeah, nobody really knows what's going on. It's super secretive. A lot of the rumors and stuff suggest they could be working on reverse engineering crashed alien spacecraft. So UFOs that have crashed into the earth, they recover them, they bring them back, they study them, try to learn the technology. You know, meetings with extraterrestrials could be going down there. We could be keeping them captive there. Development of exotic energy weapons. So like some advanced warfare type stuff. Development of weather control, time travel, and teleportation are all suggested that they're working there. Or, you know, it could just be a regular military base where we're testing out advanced missiles and stuff, but that's not nearly as exciting. You guys see how there's kind of like three fingers here? I think we're on track and I think it might be near this knuckle. I'm not 100% sure. This is, it might, it might be down here. It might be like towards the top of that knuckle. We're gonna find it. Oh, just kidding, dude, it's KXTA. It's this airport right here. That's the code for it, KXTA. All right, so it is on the map. Maybe it's not so secret after all. <laughs> Dude, I've, been, I've been trying so hard. These are the three fingers I was looking at. See how that kind of looks the same? There's three fingers of mountains there. There's three fingers of mountains here. KXTA is the actual mark. So we're gonna wanna go north of that. And if there's a road anywhere, I don't think this displays roads. We're gonna try to find a road and that road is where the town of Rachel is gonna be. And there it is right there, Groom Lake. A salt flat, super flat hard ground supposedly used for testing weaponry and flying aircraft and stuff like that. But who knows what secrets lie beyond. We've got an awful lot of big runways here. I don't know why you'd need so many runways. Look at all those runways, dude. Look at all of them. Let me, let me bring up the big map. We're gonna bring up the big map here. Let me zoom in on it. Why do you need that many big runways? What kind of, of airplanes are you working with out here? You know what, like, there's no reason for run, runways that big. Homie, there it is. Homie, AKA Groom Lake. This, my friends, is Area 51. You can kind of see just how barren it is out here. There are a few dirt roads. There's one under us. You can probably go ahead and, and take a look at that constantly being patrolled by the camo dudes. But like I said, we're just flying over it right now. Nothing to see here, nothing to be suspicious of. We're gonna go check out Rachel and then we're gonna be back for you. It's an awful lot of buildings down there. What do you need that many buildings for, for a secret base? You know what I mean? Like you shouldn't need, you need some barracks. You need some hangars to house the planes, but you don't need like a little mini city down there. We are heading due north. If we take a look at our map straight over this set of mountains here, there should be a road. 
and the town of Rachel is on that road. So like I said, it's, uh, I mean, it's a tiny little town. 54 people live there. Rachel is the name of somebody. I, th I think she's the one that owns the town, basically. Um, there's, there's a gift shop and there's a, a, like a motel slash restaurant called the A. Lee Inn. You get it? The A. Lee Inn. And uh, it's this tiny little town, but it attracts all kinds of weirdos and alien freaks and stuff. It's actually kind of cool. It's kind of like their meeting ground. They have tons of tourists that come through every year. And uh, they host festivals and stuff like that. It kind of plays off of the, the UFO and alien vibe. They have UFOs on their street signs and all over the place. So we're going to go see if we can find anything interesting over there. And then we're going to turn back around and check out the real thing. I'm going to be really impressed if Flight Sim got a town with 50 people in it. Oh gosh, we are going way too fast here. We gotta slow this slow this bird down. I'm gonna be super, super impressed if they included a town with 15 people. However, I'm not really seeing anything here. Let me pull up our Google Maps. So it should, it should be, it should be about, about right here. So we're gonna go over to our left. Yeah, it's gonna be exactly right there. So I'll just hover my mouse on it and we'll see if we can see anything interesting. I see a bunch of, what are those circles, dude? <laughs> are those crops? Don't tell me those are crop circles. Hold on a second. You just wait one, one minute. Why are there circles out here? Just random circles in the dirt. This, this must be it over here. I did some research before this episode and I'm not sure what the circles are. But if that doesn't say aliens to me, I don't know, I don't know what does. What is that? We're gonna have to get closer, get a better look at it. There is a way you can free use the camera, like move it around and stuff like that. I think I might try to do that. This just took a turn for the better. I wasn't expecting there to be anything interesting out here. I, I figured we could check it out. I thought they might have like one of the signs or something. But no, they've got full on, full on circles out here. Now what is going on? Oh, we could see cars going by and stuff. That's pretty cool. What's going on over here? It's all sorts of weird drawings and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom down in here and we're gonna see what we have going on. This seems to be the main part of town. We've got some semi-trucks going through. I and mean, obviously this is all satellite imagery and stuff, so it's it's not gonna be perfect, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the Little Ailey Inn. I don't know if they're actually gonna have it, dude. I mean, just the fact, I mean, it, it doesn't look pretty, but the fact that we have this level of detail is, is pretty incredible. Is this the Little Ailey Inn? It's a little red building, whatever it is. Is that what it looks like? Nope, not at all. This is what it looks like. White building, totally looks different, but it is kind of this shape if you look at it from Google Maps. So uh, I would imagine it's just kind of a generic building that they threw in and uh, and I guess, I guess that's that. So I'll, I'll throw some pictures of Rachel Nevada up on the screen. I was hoping we were gonna have that level of detail, but keep in mind, it is a random town in the middle of Nevada with 54 inhabitants. It doesn't surprise me that it's not that real. So you can just barely see the start of Groom Lake there. I'm pretty sure the runway ran this way, right? I think that's the start of the runway. So we're, we're gonna hang a little bit of a right here and get ready to make our approach. However, I do feel like it would be rude to show up completely unannounced. You know, I, I didn't wanna, you know, pre announce our plans, but I, I feel like we should let them know. So we're going to go ahead and uh, and call into a ATC here. We're going to find the nearest airport list and Homie, aka Area 51, we're going to get in contact with them. We're going to tune KXTA traffic on 122900. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to select a runway for landing. Uh, which runways do we have here? Let me pull up the map. We are going to want to land. Is it going to tell us? Uh, the big one. I'm gonna guess 15 left. All right, yeah, sounds good to me. Uh, I'm gonna be landing at a full stop. I plan on staying here overnight. I'm going to announce my current position and let you know that I'm, I'm in route. 
traffic day or Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Alpha 12 miles north 10,200 feet inbound to land runway 15 left. Probably want to reduce a little bit of our our height here, and uh, we're we're gonna start start bringing this bird in. Let's go ahead and minimize that. I don't think we're gonna need that for right now. It's starting to kind of frost up on us, so we're gonna get outside and let's start let's start bringing her in. Gonna start losing altitude. Definitely want to, to drop a little bit of airspeed here. Probably want to think about trimming the flaps. At least just a little bit. I feel like we're coming in extra hot and that thing's gonna be up on us before we know it. So let's start burning off some some airspeed here. Uh, it, it's weird. So like the runway, I feel like this was the original part of the runway and then it looks like they extended it out into the salt flat for all of their major ufos and stuff to be able to land on so i don't know which part we should land on i feel like it'd be a long taxi if we landed on this so i'm gonna i'm gonna aim more for the middle i kind of want to check out some of the buildings and stuff in here uh let me go ahead and open this back up we're on our final approach here kilo x-ray tango alpha traffic day or alpha sierra x-ray golf sierra alpha is on final runway one five left to land Sounds like we're not getting a lot of responses. Probably because they're all busy doing who knows what, who knows where, with who knows what. But uh, it's not going to stop us from coming in. We really got to work on, on our defrosters, man. This, this is hard to see in here, but we're going to attempt to do it all on our own. Coming in over Groom Lake. I wonder what they're grooming. Why would you call it Groom Lake? That sounds just sketchy in and of itself. And again, I repeat myself. Why do you need this long of a runway? This is a behemoth of a runway. They even got runoff down here. Ooh, what is that? What is that? They've got storage crates and stuff. And this is, it was even longer than it used to be. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back inside here. Oh, we don't even have... We don't even have landing gear and flaps down yet. We're pretty much already on the runway. We gotta be careful here. Looks like we're losing quite a bit of airspeed, so I'm gonna pick the engines back up a little bit. Don't wanna totally run out of everything. This thing is so wide too, dude. This might be our smoothest landing yet. Gotta be careful. Good news is it's it's like landing in a Walmart parking lot, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, that... Did that just turn some of you guys on? Because it kind of turned me on. That was our best landing. That, that was our only acceptable landing that we've had so far. Sorry, we're going over the speed limit for Homie Airport here. I got things to do and people to see, though. Oh, shoot. We probably could have... We probably should have turned off right there. It's all right. We're going to go ahead and uh, we can turn off at this next. Is this something here? Looks like this might be something. Is that a runway or is that a dirt path? It looks it looks like a, a runway-ish, kind of. So we're, we're going to go for it. Just pull it in. Just another one of those, you know, special planes with the red stripes. We're going to get a little... Oh, we got, we got people working. Shh. They'll never see us coming. We got cars driving around and stuff. Yo. This is insane. Just creeping up on them. Oh, they, they definitely see us. I feel like we're sneaking into the, the Air Force Base in GTA. We're going to have five stars. We're going to have tanks and... Plane scrambled and all kinds of crazy stuff. I can't even imagine what would happen if somebody actually tried to land here. That would be so, so crazy. All right, so what do we have here in front of us? Can we go across that? It looks like the runway kind of abruptly stops. I hope we can go across that. I would imagine, I would imagine we can cross this. If it tells me my plane crashed, nope, we're good. What are y'all up to? Huh? What are y'all doing out here? That's right. You didn't expect to see. Oh, dude, is this what? Is he about to approach us? <laughs> it's like a yellow. What does that van say? It doesn't say anything. It's got like the the 
twirly twirly thing oh he's speeding off bro we're discovered what else we got going on here huh some giant hangers okay lots of room for activities in there let's let's go ahead and, and take a left around here we gotta be careful about the uh the whole wing situation though there's a lot of a lot of wing that could be interrupted you know what we could do we can go exploring all right what are y'all up to i'm gonna go try to maybe take a look at this dude in here we probably should have put the parking brake on the plane that would have been a good idea but at least we, we hit stop what are you up to bro bro he's got invisible technology i knew it oh look look there's more of them ah so they've hidden everything what is this here is that a futuristic fire hose uh-huh. I, I see I see what you guys are doing out here. What would you need a fire hose that big for? You really expect a fire? Or are you, are you testing futuristic weaponry? Or is it some sort of a torture device for the aliens that you guys are housing? I'm going to keep on looking through here. We've got some of the, the barracks and stuff where people sleep. Uh-huh. They've got cloaking devices on all of these buildings, and we absolutely cannot see anything as we enter them. Look at all the cars, dude. All these people know the secrets of Area 51 and they haven't said a word. They've even got some little prop planes out here. I mean, they aren't really little, they're fairly large, but they don't have the red stripe. They aren't the Janet jets that we were expecting. They've got some fuel tanker trucks out here. More hangars and specialty buildings. Did I really wish they, they should have put some sort of an alien Easter egg in here. I wonder if there is. I don't really have the patience to check every single building, but I was, I was low key kind of hoping that they were going to put some sort of an Easter egg. But I guess that's just not in the card. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. We checked out area 51. Honestly, it's kind of cool to land here and see it. I mean, obviously the buildings aren't to scale, but like the whole runway setup and the the groom lake the, the salt flat out there and stuff that's all legit like that's that's the real deal so we truly did kind of explore area 51 today i mean this this is the closest that you would ever actually get to it so hope you guys enjoyed i'm gonna go ahead and buzz out of here thank you guys so much for watching drop a like for your pilot on the way out and let him know what you guys want to see next where should we fly to next the world is our oyster i'll see you guys later peace out